What's going on my G's, Benny Macaulay here and today I'm going to show you how to make your A2H glide and slide like okra. <laughs> and I'm also going to show you one or two tips and tricks that you can use to make your A2H glide sound more interesting. And lastly, I'm going to do a quick beat breakdown for the drill remix I just posted on my page a couple of days ago. I'm going to show you my process, show you some of the things that I did to achieve some of the sounds that you hear on that remix. And I mean, hopefully you can learn one or two things that you can use for your own production as well. All right, let's jump right into it real quick. So you have your A2H. Now, the first thing you want to do is set your envelope and to do that all you have to do is come to envelope setting click here bang and the next thing you want to do is turn down your release to zero your sustain to zero decay to zero and your hold all the way up to the max i'm gonna just turn down the attack to say 20 percent because i want that initial glide but i don't want too much of it right let me set this so i can get so now that you set your envelope the next thing you want to do obviously is jump into that piano row and make some glides happen Okay, make some crazy nasty glides happen. This is something I really like about Elfo. Gliding is actually really, really simple. So you want to glide from lower note to higher note. All you have to do is just put your notes, right? And put your higher note. And next thing you want to do is double click this. It's going to bring out this note properties. And you come here and select glide. This is the slide button. See, it shows slide to D sharp six. And then you accept. That's it. That's it. That's pretty much it. So let's listen to the 808 I played on this beat and I'm going to show you one or two things to make your 808 melodies sound very, very nice. <laughs> Yes, I know you noticed that. So I'm going to show you how to do the long glide. And it's a very good way to like create like tension and release, right? Um, so let me show you how I did that real quick. It's the same process. You put your lower notes, you put your higher notes, you click, you select slide and you accept. But this time around what we're doing is we have the higher note and the lower notes on the same length. And that's not all. If you notice the velocity of the lower note is reduced drastically and the velocity of the higher note is increased to the max. And that is how you create this, this long glide, you know, this long glide effect. The glide down is pretty much um, the opposite of the glide up, right? You put your higher note, you put your lower note. But now we want it to glide from a higher note to the lower note. So we can select the lower notes, select our slide, accept, da 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 da. The same thing. And then you want to make sure the lower notes starts from when you want the sound start to dip. This is the point where I want it to begin to dip. If I brought it closer, to be closer. If I took it farther away, to be. So you're going to set the length of the lower note based on what you're trying to achieve. Nice. If you pay that attention again to the 808, you're going to hear that it's it's panned from left to right. Most people don't pan 808, right? But it's, trust me, it's fun to experiment like that. Right. And to do that, it's quite simple. You come down here, you click where you see control. You, you see all the options by default is on velocity, right? But we want to pan. So we just go notes pan and that's it. Left, right, left, right. And this is going to create this amazing effect. Like when you listen to this on your headphones, obviously. That sounds mad. <laughs> So now let me do a breakdown on this beat so I can just really walk you through some of the things that I've done, right? Maybe you can make one or two cents from my nonsense, all right? This is obviously a remix to the 1959, you know, Sound of the Music, my favorite things by Julie Andrews. Um, I really liked the song and I felt I'm going to make it drill. I chopped up some of the vocals. <laughs> The original sound, yeah, it's hard to find the tempo for it because these songs from way back, they really don't always have like an actual tempo because they're recorded live, right? So it's just like all over the place. If you want to do something like this, you're going to have to chop up the vocals to be able to fit with the tempo of what you're trying to create. Chopping it and then I'm pitching it all the way up and that's why we have this. And then I'm using Valhalla Supermassive to add a bit of reverb to that. Fab filter EQ to cut off the low and some of the low mid frequencies, right? Combine all of this together and this is what we have. Yeah. 
started with a very basic melody, to be honest. After that, I think I added a part. You know, just to... Right. And then I added this uh, vocal sample from Labs. So I'm sending my Vox part to the FX channel and I am running it through the kickstart to give that... You know, if I turn off the kickstart, it's just... Pretty much, but that's not fun. This is more fun. <laughs> right. And then I have this guy. So it's the same thing, basically. I'm sending... I'm sending this also to the same FX um, send. Running through Kickstarter as well, just to create that movement and the sound. Right. And then uh, what do we have here? I have all of this. And then I have this impact sound. You know, what am I doing to them zones? Is this... All right, so yeah, so I'm also just putting a bunch of uh, reverb with Supermassive from Valhalla as well. And I'm using um, Baby Comeback Delay to just create a nice tail end for the sound, basically. Yeah, I said, this Baby Comeback, actually, this is a, like the free version of this um, delay from Baby Audio. It's actually quite mad. I feel like you should download it. These two plugins are free, but they're very, very amazing. I have the paid version of the Baby Comeback. That one is actually even sicker. But you can definitely get good quality delay from this free version as well. Okay, check it out. Okay, for the drums, yeah, obviously I'm playing the standard drill pattern right but i'm not doing the continuous one they normally drill just goes like that but i like the break because it gives movement right to the beat itself and i like that groove that extra groove that you get from the pause da, 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 da. and then obviously i'm dropping the velocity of some of the notes to also create even more movement within the rhythm pretty much and then i have a counter hired right I'm basically replicating the pattern on the first shaker, right? But I'm taking some of them out. And then if you listen carefully, you would hear that I'm also doing like a panning. You need to have all of this kind of movement happening within your sound to just, you know, keep the whole thing interesting, you know? Counter snare. Again, playing with the velocity just to keep the rhythm interesting. And I think the snare, just very simple snare. That's it. For the kick, pretty simple standard drill rhythm. Basically, the arrangement is quite simple. I mean, for the intro, I'm just using... Girls in white dresses with blue satin. I'm just using part of the original song, which obviously if I ever decide I want to put this out as an official single, I can't use that part because except I get like, you know, copyrights from the original owners of the record, right? But for now, Girls in white dresses with blue. I'm using that as an intro. And then the next thing is just my hook. And again, remember I pitched up the sample chop. And then this goes into our verse. I'm also using the sample chop, but this time around, I've pitched it down to just create variation. Right, I'm running through the same process. And okay, then we have this. I think all my sound is actually going through the kickstart. Just for that movement. And then I have another one. I'm actually using different vocal parts to create all of the sound in this beat. It's just very exciting for drill. And then there's something I want to show you that is pretty cool. And this is something I do a lot to kind of just switch up my melodies a little bit. And it's very effective. If you notice for this next eight bars, the sound is going to change. <laughs> So it's the same melodies, but just with some tiny, tiny effects to so change this up a little bit. Let me show you what I did there. 
So first of all, if you notice, I rendered all the usual instruments to audio file. And that's what we have right here. To do that, it's actually very simple. Select everything you want to do. You go alternate, command, and it brings up the rendering options. You select wave and you select start and that's it. So the first thing I did is I used this vocal desk plugin to switch the sound up. I'm just leaving it at the default setting and this is what we have. <laughs> Our sound I've already switched up already, right? But that's not all. The next thing I did is I'm using halftime to switch up the sound even further. Like that sounds amazing. This is actually something that I do a lot and I think you should also incorporate in your production because it brings excitement to your music when your melodies can change from time to time. <laughs> I also have this break here to create that, you know, tension and release, tension and release. Um, if you notice, this sound changed just a little bit. Let me show you what I'm doing there. So I have the same melody that I've already switched up. Cut up the section that I want to switch up even some more. I'm using Fruity Fields to cut up some of the low end. A bit of chorus. Throwing a bunch of delay with baby comeback, but I set my delay time to eight note. You know, to create that. Yeah, that flutter sound that you hear. And then lastly, I just dumped a huge reverb. Nice. All of that put together with the long glide 808 gives us this amazing break. <laughs> Right. And then for the second hook, I rendered all the instruments, including the drums, right? And I'm using Fruity Filter, automate the cutoff to create that riser effect, you know? Pretty simple shit. Yeah, this is my automation here. Yeah. Yes. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I feel like people are doing a lot of this drill throwback remixes these days, which is so much fun, right? But obviously, if this is going to go out as a record, we have to get the proper license to be able to use this intro. Girls in white dress. You know, so that's it. I hope you learned how to make your A2 glide. And I hope you got one or two cents from my nonsense that I've showed you here. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you on the next hour. Peace. <laughs>